Hey everybody, happy Sunday. I'm pre-recording today's video for our Purpose February because uh, I am going to be at church on Sunday and I won't have time to do a video in the morning, so I want to make sure that you have it. Today we are talking about who is in your life. Lots of people don't really think about who they're associating with in terms of having an impact on their on their destiny, on fulfilling their purpose. But I'm here to tell you that that is quite possibly one of the number one things that you need to take a look at. You need to take an inventory on if you want to complete your purpose to the fullness of its measure. We kind of talked about that a little bit on Tuesday. Um, on Monday, the first video that I released, I talked to you about how you need to budget your time, right? You need to take an inventory of where you're spending your time. And if you haven't seen that video, go watch that because that'll help you start this foundation uh, of what I'm gonna talk about in this video uh, uh, with a clean slate, right? You're gonna actually be able to see how, how your time is being spent and especially when it comes to your connections. So. Part of your purpose is understanding that not everybody can come with you into it. If you're pursuing your purpose very strongly and you have people in your life who are not pursuing their purpose very strongly, do you understand you're going in two, two opposite directions? The word says, how can two walk together lest they be agreed? You have to purpose it in your heart that we are going to go together on this journey. And if we are at odds with one another in terms of our goals, in terms of what's important to us, our value system, then we can't walk together. And this doesn't need to be a malicious thing. It can just simply be like, this is not what's best for me, okay? So who you hang around with determines not only your direction, right? How can two walk together lest they be agreed, but also your speed. If you want to get uh, better at running, if you want to become a faster runner, you find somebody who's faster than you. You don't find somebody who's slower than you. And so how you, who you're hanging around with and how you're choosing the people you hang around with are extremely important to whether or not you will pick up your purpose. Okay. So, um, so here's a little tip on what I do and I encourage you to do it. It's actually today's homework. And so I, I hope that you will sit down and do it every year. I go through and look at who my phone keeps track of the people that I talk to the most, um, uh, like on the phone that year. Uh, or I think it does it like, it just updates it like, however often, however often I'm on the phone. So I take a look at who have I been calling the most, like my top 10 people, my top 20 people. And then I take a look at the past six months of text messages that I've gone through. Okay. This might sound time intensive, but this is worth so much. It, this is a seed sown when you are willing to go through and edit who you are keeping in your life. I write down all of those names and I just pray, God, is this, is this a connection for this season? Is this somebody that you want me to continue to spend time with? Is this somebody that I should be connected to? And if the answer is yes, how much? It, where in uh, my life plan does this person go? Um, if you haven't taken my boundaries courses, I encourage you to go do it. I have a playlist called Growing in Trust. Go take that. And I talk about how to organize your life in these concentric circles so that you know exactly where the people go. When you know where people go and where they belong in your life, then you all have already made a predetermined choice, which is something we're going to talk about later on in this month, uh, for how much information you share with them, how often you spend time with them, where the trajectory of the relationship is going, if they're going to move into um, an inner, a closer inner circle than the one they're in now. If they're already in an inner circle, you're going to have standards for how, how to keep that person in there. The things that they do that would um, that would go against those value systems would, would mean that there would be an automatic process for removing them from your inner circle. This, these things need to be implemented in your life like a, a habit. Because if you aren't constantly editing your life and who's in your life, you could be doing all of the correct things. You could even be, um, in your purpose, but it will, there will be a glass ceiling. There will be a cap on how far you can go simply because of who you're connected to. If you haven't seen some of my other videos, I've done, um, talks on connection and how this is so important. Okay. When we have something plugged into the wall, there's electricity flowing into that thing so that when we flip a switch, 
when we turn the thing on, when we go to use the, the device or whatever, it comes on instantly. Okay, so there's always electricity, there's always energy flowing through the connection because we've plugged it in. This is what connections are doing in your life. This is what people, associations are doing in your life, okay? And by the way, it's a good idea to do this for not just people, but places. If you are known to, uh, if you have even, even a healthy thing, right? Like a volunteer position or something like that. God, is this for this season? Is this your best for me right now? Should I be spending this amount of time there? You want to take an inventory of where your energy is going. Your time is your most precious resource. Listen to me. It isn't, it isn't your money. Okay. It isn't even your talents. It's your time. I can always learn new skills. Okay. I can always learn, uh, uh, uh how to do something better. I can always make more money. You know what? I can't make more of time. Time is your most valuable resource after your salvation. After your salvation, time is your number one resource. You need to guard your time. You need to know who has access to you, how often they have access to you, and why they have that access to you. Sometimes we have people in our lives who are just kind of like fixtures, right? They got there at some point and uh, we've just left them there. Oh, I've known them from high school. I knew them in middle school. I grew up with them. They're my cousin. We've just grandfathered these people into our lives <laughs> when we don't actually, we're, we're not, not only do we not need them in our lives, they're actually not supposed to be in our lives, right? They're cluttering up, they're, they're pulling from our energy supply and we would walk out our purpose faster and more clear and to a dip, different measure had we uh, cut that connection a long time ago. And again, this doesn't need to be like a rude thing, like I'm done with you, you know, um, whatever. Um, it can simply just be like, Hey, listen, the seasons are shifting and this connection is shifting and I honor you and I bless you, you know, but I also honor myself and I need to be obedient to what the Lord is speaking to me. Okay. So you need to know who you're hanging out with. Really take an inventory. Don't just guess like, oh, I think I hang out with, you know, so-and-so, so-and-so, and so-and-so, and they're all great. Actually take an inventory. It's the same thing that you did with your habits on day one, right? I want you to actually write this down. I want you to get a pad, and, pad of paper and a pen and actually write down what you're doing every hour or every 30 minutes when your alarm went off. I want you to actually sit down and take an inventory of who are you emailing? Who are you text messaging? Who are you calling on the phone? Who do you actually see face-to-face -face, like on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. You need to know who these people are. You want to steward the good relationships, the ones that are supposed to be there. You need to ask, how much time should I be investing in this relationship? Because when you're investing in a negative relationship, in a bad relationship, or even just a non-fruitful relationship, that's taking time and energy away from a connection that you should be nourishing, that you should be nurturing, that should be flourishing and that is probably connected to your purpose. Okay, so I hope this video helps you. Please do this assignment and I will see you tomorrow on Monday.